Hello again. Uh, had a question come in about matrices on the Casio Prism. Uh, does it do complex matrices? I had never done a complex matrix before, so I was curious. I went ahead and did a couple. Let me clear out this uh, clutter I've got from earlier today. So I'm sitting right now in the uh, Run Matrix menu, menu option mode 1. Now anytime you're going to work with complex numbers, you should go into your setup and change to complex mode. So I'm in A, play, A plus BI mode. If not, your answers will be forced into real mode. Either that or you get an error because you're not in the correct mode. So I'll exit there. Now if you've never done matrices before, there's lots of places you can find matrices. If you want to store your matrices to use later, you've got the store matrix option, which if you've ever done matrices on other brands, you can just store your matrix in here. You tell it the dimension. I got a two by two matrix. You go ahead and fill in your matrix. This includes uh, matrices that are complex. There's a little bit of a limit here in that you don't get to see what your matrix is. In other words, I store this in matrix one or matrix A, and then I can't see it. So a little bit of a downfall there is that you can't see your matrices you're working with in this mode, but it's stored. So that's all fine and good. My favorite is uh, doing it in the math. I've got another matrix button, F1. I can define my matrix. So I go with a 2x2. Two two, and now it pastes a template for my matrix. So I can just go ahead and type in my matrix. Use the over arrow. Let's go with a 3i for the next one. Title over, 5 plus 6. Shift I, which is above the zero. Uh, let's go with negative two, or no, let's go negative three I. All right, so if I want to find an inverse of a matrix, you want to take the inverse key, which is hiding on me currently. Let's see where, there it is, right above the right parenthesis. So shift inverse, execute. There you have it. And it's in nice uh, fraction mode. Press FD if you want to change that to uh, decimal. But there you have that one. Let's say you wanted to do a multi multiplication, though. You want to multiply some matrices here. And I like this mode much better because I get to see the matrix. I don't lose the information that I'm currently looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply by another 2 by 2. And we can put in 3. I will put in some 9 plus 6i. Put in your favorite matrix. Uh, we'll just go with 7. And we'll go uh, negative 2 minus 4i. And again, it doesn't matter if you use the minus or the negative. The calculator understands you only want to do one of those two. And there you have it. So you multiplied your complex matrix. From there, you could store your matrix if you need to store your matrix. Store that. You've got matrix name above F2, matrix uh, alpha B, for example. So you matrix answer store matrix B, and then it would store that in matrix B. So if you wanted to recall, for example, matrix A I had already typed in. So if I want to press matrix A, you want to recall matrix, shift matrix alpha A, that's the one we stored earlier. Or I can pull up the matrix I just stored right now, which is matrix B. And again, once the matrices are stored, you can do matrix uh, operations. So you want to go uh, matrix A inverse, for example. Matrix A inverse. There you have it. Uh, it's important to use the matrix when you're talking about a matrix. Be careful not to use just the letter A, because just the letter A is being stored in another address location for A, and it is not the matrix one. So make sure you use the matrix key. Again, that's above the number 2. Uh, M by N, um, I'm hearing that there's like 60 lines of that you can put in as, as far as the biggest matrix. Um, but you can get pretty large. 
but yes, this will do matrix operations, matrix multiplication, addition, subtraction. Again, I would use the matrix key that is underneath the math folder. Math matrix. Or if you want, you could store your matrix by going into the matrix storage and doing it that way. Either way works. It works great. So there you have it. Again, make sure you're in complex mode if you're working with complex matrices. Thanks. Keep your requests coming.